From a frightening ghost in the park and a collection of grandma's ghosts in the cemetery to whining and dining with a ghost. Whether or not you think ghosts are real or are only made up for movies, these ghost stories are related by actual people who had experiences that they can't quite explain. Meanwhile, before you turned in for the night, did you look under the bed for monsters? To be sure the boogeyman isn't hiding within, check the wardrobe twice. What terrifies you ghosts? Hold still and grab a juice as we go through these true, ghostly, scary stories that will keep you up all night. Story 1. The Ghostly Man in the Park Since I'm still rather traumatized by the entire thing that happened a year ago, I thought it wise to share my story with you. In October, where I live in Germany, dusk falls at about 4 o'clock. That week was the school's autumn break, so all the children were at home, which implied that my girlfriend's brother was also at home. However, I had been with her for a year now, so her brother liked my company and her family knew me rather well. She had to take care of her brother and her parents were leaving the country or something, so she had been under a lot of stress lately. However, I decided to give her a day by herself so she could simply relax. I asked her parents if I could watch their boy instead for the day, and they said sure. I arrived at the location at around 8 in the morning, and they allowed me in before they left. Meanwhile, my girlfriend's brother awoke approximately one hour later, and my girlfriend Jane woke up not too long after. After we had our breakfast at a neighborhood cafe, we returned to her house, and after I left her off, I took her brother to the park. When we arrived at around 2 p.m., the location was quite crowded. Then the sun began to set, and by 4 o'clock, the place was lonely. My girlfriend responded positively when I texted her to say we would be returning home shortly. Since we were the only two in the park, her brother and I were having so much fun that we completely forgot about the passing of time. Her brother and I were standing on this enormous climbing structure with a slide. I was using my phone as a torch because it was getting close to nightfall when my girlfriend sent me a notification asking where we were. I informed her brother that we had to leave and said, Oh, I'm coming home now. With a sigh, he asked whether we could ride the slide, and I said that it would be fine. However, I was aware of the park's appearance before I descended. It had plenty of trees, benches scattered around, streetlights, and areas where children could play. There was something strange when I emerged from the slide. Suddenly, a man was standing under one of the street lamps. I quickly brought my girlfriend's brother behind me and said, Hello, to the man who was wearing a trench coat and a beanie hat. I received a reaction. He began to groan, and I saw that he was swaying back and forth in the light, his mouth open and drooling, and his eyes kind of lifeless. I was immediately struck with uneasiness by this man. While I was picking up the younger sibling, I continued to check on him. I turned left at the exit which took me on the route back home and continued looking behind me every few seconds. The man remained in that position. I spent probably two minutes strolling down the main trail that comes from the area where the man was standing. Naturally, I assumed that I was free and that we had lost sight of him when I would periodically check behind me, but I was wrong. When I spotted him again, I was on a straight section of trail with lots of streetlights. He was fiddling with something in his hands while standing beneath one and staring up at it. I noticed that it was a knife when I took a closer look. I continued to walk, looking over my shoulder all the time. My girlfriend's younger brother had his head snuggled against my chest in fear. Still, every time I looked back, I saw that the guy appeared to be moving to new streetlights. To be honest, at first I thought it was just my eyes playing tricks on me, but after counting, I realized that the two streetlights behind him had changed into five. Even now, I could just barely make out the groaning sound, and he was occasionally moaning as well. Immediately, I quickened my pace and rounded a corner to enter the final section of the street before arriving at my girlfriend's house. That's when I heard him behind the bushes. His heavy footsteps were running down the path, and his moaning voice had turned angry. These were the first signs that the man was moving. I started running right away 
and I didn't stop until I passed my girlfriend's house and entered the alleyway at the front of the street. I hid behind a large shrub there and sent her a ton of messages on her phone, asking her to unlock the back gate. I tightly clutched her brother's hand until she swiftly opened it and let us in. I went to the front of the house and had to make sure that I had scared the man because, sure enough, he was still wailing and he was now circling the street where I had been a few moments earlier, outside the alleyway. Even so, I believe he was angry when he began kicking people's trash cans while holding that knife. I quickly contacted the police, but by the time they got there, he had already left, and from what I heard, they were also unable to locate him. Oddly enough, there was the same incidents in the vicinity a few months prior. I believe nothing came of the one I saw in the local Facebook group. In the end, he returned to normal the day after, which was fantastic, although he still had nightmares about the incident. Her parents thanked me for keeping their kids safe and expressed no resentment towards me for the circumstances. Since then, however, we have not visited that park and I continue to experience anxiety and a rise in body temperature whenever I am by myself on the street. Now, before we move further to the next story, why not use a few seconds of your time to visit our channel? Please subscribe to Top Scares, where we bring you intriguing horror and unsettling stories that will blow your mind. You can like, share, and comment for more interesting stories. Story 2 the grandparents in the grave. Driving past a cemetery was Stoney, an Austin, Texas resident, with his four-year-old son Dre in the back seat. It was a simple cemetery, with just little plaques and flowers. Stoney says, It looks like a giant garden. Stoney claims that his son stopped abruptly as they were driving by, pointed at the cemetery and remarked, Look at all those people. The youngster had been humming cheerfully. Meanwhile, Stoney turned to look, but he saw nothing. He asked Dre what he was talking about, confused. His son said, All those people over there. There are a lot of grandmothers. Upon hearing this, Stoney's spine tingled, and he asked his son what the folks were doing. Dre remarked, They're all standing there, staring down at the grass. The conversation left Stoney feeling utterly uneasy as he drove home. Later that day, when his father spotted his little son watching TV, the boy stated, You know, they weren't alive. His father questioned what Dre meant, thinking he was talking about the cartoon. His son answered, Those people we saw, they were all paused. Stoney remarked, I don't know if my kid has the sixth sense. Or perhaps he's just a crazy person. I sincerely hope that the elderly people he claimed to have seen at the graveyard are not ghosts, but if that is the case, I pray they don't haunt or hurt my young son. Story 3. The Haunted Trunk Station A military man left for his wedding, driving his best friend from Camp Lejeune in North Carolina to Lafayette, Indiana, a distance of 800 miles. On a chilly January night in 2014, at 1 in the morning, the man reported that the weather was poor, with lows in the negative double digits. The two realize they are going to run out of gasoline and have no money to pay for gas as they approach Indianapolis. The groom said he chose to stop at a truck stop since he grew up in the trucking business with his dad. However, they were forced to leave the highway and look for a truck stop along the side roads because the weather had closed the main interstates. A smaller truck stop was located. It was a single truck, and it was kind of weird. All that was visible was a truck and trailer covered in black paint. It lacked any discernible markings or characteristics, but they proceeded in the hopes that a waiter or clerk would see fit to give them a few bucks for gasoline so they could reach Indianapolis, where they planned to visit the bank, withdraw cash, and repay the debt. Inside, they found a neat diner run by a cook, a waitress, and a truck driver. They chatted with the driver once they were inside, and he brought them a cup of coffee. For around 30 minutes, they sat there and discussed everything that was happening, where we were, why we were going, and what we were doing. Additionally, he gave them $20 for gasoline. After the groom poured our gasoline outside and returned, I said to him, 
Hey, I appreciate it. I'll be back. Fulfilling his promise, the man went back to the diner after getting money from the bank in Indianapolis. It was boarded up when they arrived at roughly 10 in the morning. The truck was gone, and it appeared as though it had been abandoned for many years. However, they had just entered. Upon arriving, they discover a police officer parked in the lot. After they told the officer what had transpired a few hours earlier, he laughed and said, Oh, you met the ghost of three. Thus, two military personnel talked, shared a cup of coffee, and engaged in conversation with three ghost individuals. He said, I got $1.20 worth of gasoline. The men were horrified to learn that they were having dinner with ghosts nonetheless. And they also got to know that these ghosts have been there for over 25 years with the same routine. They resolved not to speak with strangers ever again. Do you think ghosts still exist? Or is it just imagination? Well, let us know in the comment section below. Are you a fan of horror and scary stories? Check out our previous videos on our channel. See you in our next video.